In this video, I'm going to show you a great way to beat man coverage. Also, a pretty good little play for zone um, as well. And uh, also really good against the blitz, okay? Uh, so we're going to jump into the video. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit the sub button down below. It's free to subscribe. And uh, also, if you guys want to uh, check out my Washington offensive ebook, I cover gun bunch, gun tight, gun bunch open tight end. We're also working on updating that with a couple of other stuff. Um, so if you want to check all that stuff out, the link is in the description. Join our Patreon. Patreon members get access to all ebooks, all updates to those ebooks. And again, if you want to sign up for that, it's just ten dollars. The link's in the description. We got fifteen or fourteen ebooks out currently. Uh, just dropped a massive update to my Trips Tied In ebook, and we're going to be dropping um, an update to Washington as well shortly. And we have a brand new ebook we're dropping this week. So Patreon members get access to everything. And if you want to check that out, the link's in the description. Okay, so. Uh, what you want to do with this is you want to put an outside apprentice right here. Um, so, you know, if you have Hiram Master, obviously it solves everything. But you just want to put an outside apprentice right there. And the player we're going over is PA Cross. Now, generally speaking, you would audible to this from bunch. And um, I'll show you what that means real quick. So, um, in bunch, you normally have an outside apprentice right here. When you audible to to, to this right here he goes right to where we would want an outside apprentice okay so i just wanted to show you like they're going to be in the same position now you want to run this with the ball on the right hash generally the play is pa cross um and the setup's really simple we're going to motion this guy to the left and as soon as we motion him we're going to put him on a c route and we're going to snap the ball so we're going to motion him put him on a c route snap the ball boom and this little angled corner is one of the best man beaters in the game this year. Um, there's a lot that we can do with this play. We're going to get into some of this in the future. But this little angled uh, route to Godwin is one of the best routes in the game this year. So, again, just motion this guy to the left as soon as you motion him, put him on a C route. And then snap the ball as soon as you can. What you'll see here on the left side is that will mean that the C route is going to become unbumpable. And if they are not in zone, um, this is going to be a pretty nice little read. So, again, I'm just going to motion him out, put him on a C route, snap right about, right about there. You see he's unbumpable. And now it's more of a route running thing. Julio Jones' route running is not the best. But if you have short and elite on this player, um, this is going to be a really, really, really good setup. I'll let him kind of set his feet here and just kind of show you. Um, if he doesn't get jammed, he should be able to cook to the left side. You get that little ag catch really nice little play so you're able to beat man quick on both sidelines which is really powerful because they can't use her uh both sidelines and so then the next read is triangle this little quick crosser really nice little play really nice route so you're beating man on both sidelines and so they're going to drop zones and then they're in the middle of the field and they have to choose am i going to guard evans or this route to X. And this route's one of the glitchiest routes in the game this year. So uh, what you're going to do with this is you're just going to high ball pass lead inside and you're going to ag him. And if you have Dave Casper, if you have um, Travis Kelsey, um, it really doesn't matter. As long as it's a one-on-one, -on -one, that's actually a really simple and really effective read uh, for, your, for you to make. Again, a lot of times, sometimes he'll just beat him too. Uh, sometimes... Brait's not, or uh, Otten is not the best player, um, of course, but sometimes he will literally just get open. So I'll show you real quick. So if we run this enough, you'll see there are times where he'll just, he'll literally just beat the man coverage. The man coverage will just rub wrong and he'll get separation on the inside. Obviously, he's not, he's not able to catch an ag primarily just because of his rating. Um, but if you have a big body uh, player that you could put there, like I said, like a Dave Casper, even a Tony Gonzalez, Donald Parham, any of these guys, they're going to be pretty successful. So, again, you see how I can just ag, and there you see him making the play. Now, that route is a very versatile, extremely versatile route. Um, if, if, for example, they were running some kind of cover two style play, you'll see that sometimes this route actually um, can get open against cover two. So you have a couple reads against cover two, but the main thing that you can do here is you can actually split the safeties right up the middle of the field, which is really good. Um, so you're able to really, really handle cover two. Another thing that is actually becoming very popular is shaded underneath man because it does stop quick throws, quick wheels. Um, if they shade down on Otten, 
he should be a touchdown. You'll see right here, just high point, lob it over the top, and a lot of times he'll get, uh, or not high point, free form it over the top, and a lot of times he'll get that separation. Now the last two plays are some of the things that people do when you go to tight. One of those is they go to cover four drop and they shade underneath. What you'll see is this is not a terrible call against this right here, but um, circle, you can kind of fit this in and kind of sneak it in um, on the right side. Now, if if you are seeing them do something like this, okay, then what you want to do is you want to streak uh, Otten because you kind of know it's probably going to be zone. And then you'll see here that, eh, not quite there for us. Uh, you might want to run some, you, you might want to run a little bit of a different concept. I'll show you the other things that actually are open. Um, you know, but again, you got to understand if they're going to do this, there's a lot of stuff open. Um, you just have to kind of like be patient with it. Your high low, for example, uh, you should be able to hit that. You're going to get that one on one over the top with the safety, which again is always a good read in this year's game. If you have one on one, uh, please take advantage. The cover three, if they do, if they give you a look like this, this is where Otten is going to be very valuable for you because you're running this. To, this is why you want to run it on the right hash. You'll see this third. He will just kind of leave that up to the sideline, really subtly, but really wide open. Another thing I wanted to quickly touch on with cover two is if they user the middle to take away that route to Otten then this route to circle is going to be open over the top. You're just going to freeform that over the top. It's going to get into a nice little sweet spot, and you're going to be able to bomb cover two over the top. So if cover two is beaten, man coverage is beaten, you're going to force them in and funnel them into a cover four or cover three look. Now, if they are, again, if they're going to a cover, um, if they're going to a cover three style look, you're going to be in a pretty good spot because, again, this route to Otten, even if you don't streak him, if you streak him, um, let me show you how that looks real quick. You'll see here it's it's not even close. It's wide open over here on the right. Um, but this is why you want to be in short side uh, or you want to run this to the short side of the field. Now, let's say, for example, um, you know, that they're in cover three like this and you – um, you know, you run this concept, even if he's not on an actual streak, this route's still open. You kind of got to learn to trust it a little bit. So that funnels them into having to run cover four. Now, the thing about cover four that you want to know is they can't really blitz you out of cover four. It's really difficult for them to do that. So especially something like this version of a cover four. So because they can't blitz you, um, you know, you can be patient with your routes. One of the routes that uh, I really like is this one-on-one, -on -one, just pass lead him so that he's in one-on-one -on -one situation. And a lot of times you can actually literally get that high ball uh, fairly consistently. If they're truly running a lot of cover four on you, um, there are probably better plays than this. Um, but one little counter thing or caveat that you can do is just put Jones on a slant instead of a C route which doesn't require hot route mass or anything. And typically what you'll see is the slant will come open. And it'll either, it will either, it will open early, but it will also come open uh, later in the play as well. But if they're in a true traditional base and line and press uh, kind of cover four style of defense, you know, the C route, the problem with the C route is you would have to kind of throw like a high ball right in that little pocket if you wanted to throw a C route. Um, but the C route's main purpose in this play is that if they are going to run man on you, you've got so many ways to beat them, and that's what makes this play so powerful. So you want to be auto into this play if they are calling man, and you want to be utilizing this ideally with the running back to the short side to help capitalize on your ability to then force them and funnel them into a cover four baseline press defense, which is then going to open up other opportunities um, for your offense. I want to thank you for watching this video, and if you want to learn more about the Washington Offensive Playbook, the Gun Tight Offense, the Bunch Offense, um, make sure that you join our Patreon. The link is in the description below. Uh, we got a full ebook on Washington Tight, Washington Bunch, and Washington Bunch Open Tight End. Thanks for watching. If you want to check out that ebook, uh, remember Patreon members get access to all ebooks, all updates to those ebooks. 
And if you want to sign up, head down to the description of the video and click the link down below.